All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and thank you for joining me on a Friday night. So really excited. Yesterday I went to the watch, I mean to my mailbox, not the watch box, my mailbox, and I had a package, and as you guys can see, it's from Barton, uh, Barton Straps, and so I'm always really excited to get a package. Clay got a hold of me and said he wanted to send out some of their nylon uh, NATO straps, and it's funny because I've looked at so many of their different straps on the channel. Their quick release nyl uh, nylon, not nylon straps, their quick release uh, silicone straps, also their canvas straps. I've looked at their leather quick release. I've actually looked at some of their leather NATOs, but I've never looked at their nylon uh, NATO straps. And so these are from the Jetson series. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can find some of these straps. So I've got the, the straps here in the box. Went ahead and got out some watches so we can show off some of these straps here, what's in the box. So I went ahead and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, we picked these up yesterday from my mailbox and my 12 year old was with me and she was like, I wanna open the box. So I was like, ah, go ahead and open the box. So let her open it. So we went ahead and just, kind of peeked in here and what's in the box but this is what it is like when I got the box so I always like when they include the stickers you know it's free advertising my my daughter's actually got one on her Subaru and I got one on my minivan it's pretty funny we like stickers around here so here are the straps that we got in the box guys so let's take a look at what we have now I've looked at these kind of we cheated yesterday and took a look at the colors that were in here it's funny this one right here my daughter actually pulled out and she goes oh that's a dupe that's a bond strap right and I thought it was funny. I thought it was really funny. A little weird, but it was funny that she actually knew, you know, the modern bond strap colors and stuff like that. So very cool. They always come packaged like this. Now we'll bring one up here closer so we can take a look at it. You get the Barton watch band there in these nice plastic packaging. Really interesting here if you guys aren't aware of it. A lot of people really just don't know uh, how to put on NATO strap. And I've, I've had so many people ask, or how do you do it and stuff like that. So they actually have a diagram here on the back and strap too long for a cleanest look on your wrist, fold the excess underneath and keep it in the keeper for a second loop. You can actually trim them if you want to. Uh, and there's plenty of videos on how to do that. Ultra durable uh, seat belt nylon 316 on brushed custom stitching. We'll take a look at all that. And you also get the information as far as the color goes. It looks like we've got like five different colors here. We've got, it looks like a black with the red trim on it. Looks like a gray with a khaki trim. That's pretty cool. And then we've got, it appears to be a khaki one here. And I've got to watch that look cool on. So we'll go ahead and definitely take a look at these. I'm going to go ahead and pull one actually out of the packaging here. I want to take a look at the, before we put them on a watch, I want to look at the, uh, you know, the fit and finish of the hardware and stuff like that. Look at the nylon, look at the stitching. So let's go ahead and do that up close and personal here with one of these straps, guys. So, so as you guys can see, the seat belt weave has kind of become standard in the, uh, the strap industry as far as this style of weave. If you guys are familiar with NATO straps, you know you have kind of the standard uh, weave where you kind of have a rougher style, usually reserved for those one millimeter, 1 1.1 to 1.2 millimeter straps out there on the industry market. These seat belt weave straps tend to be your much thicker. I think these come in at 1.4, if I'm not mistaken, from what they say on the website there. So definitely thicker straps, and it's going to require to make sure you have, uh, you know, a watch that doesn't have too close of a, you know, spring bar to the case of the watch there. So these are a 270 millimeter length strap. So you're looking at something that's going to fit from a five inch up to a big eight inch wrist there. So that's nice. As far as the stitching goes here, we'll look at that. So you guys can see there, the keeper is, uh, the, the buckle is nicely stitched in there. Stainless steel brushed hardware, as it said, 316L. It does appear to be pinned, so you could probably change that if you want to. And as you guys can see the stitching all the way around, it appears that the stitching color will match the strap nicely. As you guys can see here, you also have this brushed 316L stainless keeper here. And we'll go ahead and pull it off. This is always, I think, a little, a little nice touch. They actually have a tag on the inside of their straps, lets you know it's a Barton strap, and it gives you the size. You know, a little added touch there. As you can see, the, the, the nice stitch hardware here for the keeper on the end. So very nicely done. Like I said, 1.4 millimeters. So you guys got to be careful sometimes if you have watches that maybe have, you know, the, the, the lug is, or the pin is actually really close to the case. You need to watch that because sometimes it won't fit. So if you have a watch that you're thinking about putting these on and they're really close, be careful of that. And you might need to look for more of a standard style 
uh, NATO strap. So let's go ahead. I'm, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to pull all of these out of the packages. I'm going to match them with one of the watches over here, and we'll get them up in front of the camera and take a closer look at those. All right, so guys, as you can see, I've matched these straps up with watches, just kind of looking at the watch and saying, hey, this would look really good with this one. And of course, we've got the Seiko uh, SARB017. I've put it, I paired it up with this khaki strap, which I think looks really good, really, really good on the watch, to be honest with you. Uh, definitely very nicely done. I think the contrast in green, if you have a green watch or anything like that, looks good. Of course, if you had a black watch, this would look great on the black watch. This is the 22 millimeter version here. So very nice. Now what I did with here was I put the Orient Triton on this one here. And this is the uh, this is the gray and the khaki. Gray with the khaki edge. So looks good on there. Very nice looking setup. I'll pull back here in a second. I'll get one of these up here on the wrist for you guys and, and definitely check it out. It's neat with these, these models with the, the different color edge because you can kind of match your watches up. I mean, it's really cool, especially that this watch is set for Sunday. You got the red and the red and the red and the hand and stuff like that. So that's one of the fun things I think really about these, these dual color natives like this with the pinstriping, I guess, down the edge. You can really match them up to your watch. It's different. Actually, it's interesting because I was looking at the uh, the Triton would actually look really good on here because it has the red there on the um, on the hour indicator or on the oh uh, you know what I mean the meter right there and so it uh, it's it, it's kind of neat you can always pair it up with a watch like that it's it's neat that you can do that so and then over here I've got the little Seiko uh, the mini flighty actually I've got that on this newer Bond NATO strap, and they look really good. So, cool looking watches, cool looking watches here, guys. I'm gonna pull back, so it's a power reserve, power reserve, dang it. Why, <laughs> brain fart while I'm filming, so power reserve indicator, yeah, it matches up, so. Very nice straps here, guys, from Barton. Clay, thanks for getting these straps out to me, guys. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do is I've got some other straps and stuff like that setting aside and coming and stuff like that. And I think I'm gonna do a strap giveaway. I've got another one of these here in the package, guys, that I haven't opened and checked out. So I think I'm gonna do a strap giveaway and we'll get one of these uh, Bartons out and maybe some other stuff out to you guys to check out. Good offering from Barton Straps, as always. I mean, they really always do a nice job. You know what, let me go ahead and put one of these on the wrist so you can see what it looks like on my wrist here. Now, oh, look at that. Uh, the honeymoon is not over with that, guys. And I haven't I haven't <laughs> I haven't had the gumption to put it on a uh, on a strap. So, all right, let's go ahead and try the Triton out here. And uh these seatbelt straps are always comfortable. You know, they, they, a little bit of breaking in and stuff like that, but the comfortable straps. Now, this one is pretty Gets me pretty doggone good. I almost don't need to tuck that back. I would probably actually trim that a little bit and just get it to fit there, but very smooth. Now, I will tell you guys, they are thick. Uh, you know, when you get into the seat belt, this 1.4 millimeter, it's thick. It's a thick strap, so they will sit up on your wrist like that. So you guys should be aware of that. Uh, for some people, that's a little bit much. I tend to like it, especially summertime like that. It gets the watch up off your wrist and stuff like that. Let's a little bit air flow under there, so I kind of like the feeling of it, so... But great looking stuff from Barton. Thanks guys for sending these out to me. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. If you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks guys.